The White House is defending its economic policies after September's Consumer Price Index report showed inflation above 8 percent for the seventh month in a row. Lucas Tomlinson joins us from Washington with more on how the economic debate is becoming increasingly political. Inflation remains near four decade highs going back to the early 80s. Across the U.S. economy, Americans continue to pay more for just about everything. The White House insists its plans to turn the economy around are working. Others remain skeptical. Less than a month till the midterm elections, both sides racing to give their final pitch, how to turn America's economy around, following yesterday's worse than expected inflation news. Core inflation, which excludes food and energy prices, now the highest in 40 years. The president thinks the country could be headed for a slight recession. Not all Democrats agree. It would be irresponsible for any national leader to project uh, that a recession is coming. From 2017 to 2020, U.S. inflation averaged just 1.9 percent. This year, inflation has been over 7.5 percent every month. Gas prices remain high, spiking more than 18 percent over the past year. The September inflation report does not include the recent decision by OPEC to cut oil production by 2 million barrels per day. And food prices are up 11 percent. Rent saw its biggest jump in more than 30 years. That's why Americans are in such a bad mood right now, because they feel it every time they go to the grocery store and the, and the gas pump. And that's not something you can spin, because people feel it right in the wallet. Biden's top economic advisor admits Americans are hurting right now. The policies that we're doing to help mitigate uh, and ease price pressures are having effect. But look, nobody is denying your fundamental point, which is this is a real squeeze on family budgets. September's inflation report comes ahead of the Federal Reserve's next meeting at the beginning of November, where it's largely expected they'll raise interest rates again. In Washington, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.